Greetings and welcome back EDUC 514 students. Tonight we're taking a closer look at iMovie on the iPad. We're looking at some editing techniques for splitting clips, combining clips, and editing them together. And then we're going to look uh, specifically at the directions to follow uh, to add your cutaways, how you add B-roll into your uh, interview footage. So let's jump over to iMovie and take a look. So here I am in my iMovie project and I've got a clip here uh, that's really just a finished interview already but I'm going to use it as kind of some sample footage to, to show some uh, editing techniques. So when I tap on uh, the, the clip I can drop the whole clip in by hitting the down arrow and again that drops the entire clip in. Once I've got the whole clip in I can then cut it up if, I, if there are certain things I need to cut out. Um, then I could tap the clip over on the right side here I can hit split split that into two clips and then trim by grabbing the edge and moving the edges around to trim out clips so if there was a mistake or something like that that I needed to edit out I can move the playhead right where I have the edit point tap it and hit split and of course I can zoom by pinching and expanding there uh, and I can edit out certain things by tapping on a clip and hitting the delete key and that's going to edit that clip out. Another way that I can be really specific about where this edit point is, so say I wanted the edit point to occur right as I move from the shot of the interviewee moving to the interviewer, or the other way around actually. Okay, What I can do is I can tap right here on the transition. The straight bar is a, is a straight cut, so sometimes be careful that there's no um, crossfade between those. You want just a straight cut. But if I tap right here on the little arrows that are below it, then when I get what's called the precision editor. And here I can really be very specific about where the cut occurs. So I can take that piece of video and move it back until I get right there to that frame where she was talking. Okay. And then I can do the same thing with the bottom one. And this is going to choose where it's going to cut to. So I'm being, again, really precise about where this edit is occurring, and I can get them lined up. Another interesting technique you can use, especially if I'm, at, like in this case, I'm cutting from the interviewer to the interviewee, is I can move the audio separate from the video. And this might be interesting to do if you're cutting away, or you're cutting from the question to the answer, because now what's going to happen is, in fact, let me do that the other way around. Let me push the audio forward a little bit. Now what's going to happen as this plays is it's going to be playing along. It's going to cut to her while we still hear the rest of the question and then she starts answering. So if you have a little bit of extra space on the beginning of the answer clip, then you can do that. And then again, this is another technique for kind of smoothing over some of those things. So by using the precision editor, we can choose exactly where it, one clip is going to end and the other clip is going to begin. Uh, but we also have the flexibility of the moving the audio around separately if we needed to. And then once we get that lined up just the way we need it, we hit done in the right hand corner and that dr drops us back into the regular timeline view. Okay, so th those are some of the techniques for getting your shots put together for your interview. And I really um, think that it makes most sense to uh, think about this as kind of two projects. If we think about it just as an interview first and put together the interview and then think about adding all the cutaways and the b-roll in that might kind of help compartmentalize and kind of help simplify some of the more advanced uh, steps that are in this project okay so go ahead and cut together your interview that you can see from this sample that there are you know she's using several different uh, camera angles and she only had one camera and she, you know, just moved the camera around. So maybe set up the two shot, ask a couple questions, uh, set up the over the shoulder and let her answer a couple of them. And, you know, you can, um, you know, if you think about, if you do your, your pre-production, do some storyboarding and think about what shots you want for what questions, you can kind of move the camera around. Um, if the person you're interviewing is not comfortable doing that, moving the camera around and, you know, really kind of getting individual shots, then go ahead and just shoot with your wide shot and then you will use your cutaways. Um, there's also other techniques that we can use for getting additional footage. Uh, if you just have one camera, you just shoot the whole interview on your, on your wide shot or your two shot. Uh, you could, after the fact, um, move the camera and then have the interviewee uh, 
answer a couple of the questions over again maybe or move the camera on yourself and even it maybe after the person's gone or, or beforehand just shoot a wide shot or some close-up shots of you asking the questions if you already know what questions you're going to ask um, then you can get those ahead of time or after the fact and then those will cut in nicely as well so again you know a couple of different techniques for if you only have one camera uh, you can still think about getting some additional angles and some additional shots that way so the next thing we want to do is start adding in our cutaways and uh, iMovie has made it possible if I take one of these video clips here um, I have more tools than I used to have if I tap the little ellipses tool which is the three dots now I have four more tools here and I have the ability to drop in just audio so if you have like a video clip that has music on it or a video clip that has a sound effect on it you just want the sound you can drop that in there um, I have the cutaway which is the one we're going to use tonight I have the picture in picture and a side by side shot. So I'm going to go ahead, if I went ahead and tapped that cutaway there. Okay. Again, what this does is it allows the interview to play in the background while cutting away to the visual of the other movie. Okay. And that's going to be really neat for doing what we're doing if we want to add additional clips. So while they're talking about, for in this example, they're talking about her ancestors coming from Italy. So having clips of um, Ellis Island or having clips of a map of Italy or having clips of uh, immigrants lined up on their boat or something like that is going to be a nice way to show what they're talking about um, in addition to just hearing about that. Now, unfortunately, iMovie is not supporting uh, cutaways with still pictures. So if I have this clip here, I have a clip here of the map of Italy and I want to drop it in, it just puts it you know it makes a space and puts it in in line um, and that's not so great that's not what we wanted to do so here's the way we work around that and it's really not too difficult what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna create a new project so I hit the plus button and click movie and it doesn't matter which template or which theme I use because I'm not gonna use it at all um, and then I'm gonna go into my photo roll and I have four photos here that I wanted to use. So I've got a, a photo of Ellis Island there. I've got, again, my uh, immigrants, um, another photo of Ellis Island, and a map of Italy. So I can drop those pictures in. I don't need transitions be in between them because I'm not going to use that right now. So I'll tap those and tap the bar to take the transitions out. And then I'll tap them and grab the edges to expand them out to make them just a little bit longer. So I'll make them about 10 seconds each, or make sure they're at least 10 seconds, because they only came in as six. And I'll just expand those out. Oops, I missed the handle there. Okay, so now that I've got those clips there, I can also adjust the Ken Burns motion. Uh, one of the things that's nice on a map is zooming in on a certain location. So what I'm going to do is tap that clip. Um, for the opening, I'm going to come out wide. And then for the ending, I'm going to zoom in and center up on Rome. Okay, so as if I was talking about Rome. So we'll zoom in a little bit more and center up on that. And that way that motion zooms in towards Rome there, which is going to give us a nice look. Okay, so I've taken those still clips, dropped them into their own timeline now, um, and edited the... Ken Burns the motion effect that I want and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to render that out as its own video clip so I'm going to hit the export button hit the save video and save that out as a HD just because iMovie doesn't uh, isn't supporting cutaway for still pictures what we're doing here with this process is converting these still pictures into a movie uh, into an actual video format uh, that, that we can then bring into our other project Okay, so this is going to save you a lot of time. Another technique that I found a YouTube video for was actually making some splits in the video, adding the still picture in, making sure that it was the same amount of time, and detaching the audio and moving it over, and that was just way too complicated. Um, and this guy was trying to explain it for school kids to do, and I thought, that's just, that's just way too much. This, te this technique makes a whole lot more sense to me to think and collect all the cutaways that you're going to need put them into th to their own timeline, and then export them out as video. And now you've got a video clip that you can just drop in as, uh, as cutaways. And we'll see in a second why this is going to be so much more convenient for us uh, and the uh, different amount of flexibility that uh, this is going to bring us. 
Okay, so that clip is done exporting. So I'll go ahead and go back out and go into my interview. Okay, so let's just say that she was talking about how her ancestors came from Italy. And I could go ahead, and now you see that in my video section, I've got this whole clip that has my cutaways in it. So all I have to do is trim up to the point where I get my map here. Okay, and then hit the ellipses tool, drop that in as a cutaway. Okay, and this is great now because it has no audio. And so as we listen to the interview, as we listen to the interview here, we're going to see the map. I've already been able to adjust the Ken Burns motion that we have there. Um, and But we still hear the interview playing in the background and it doesn't interrupt and there's no additional editing that we need to do. Okay. The nice thing here is that I can still trim or if I need to trim it down, I can trim that down. If I need to take that clip and move it around, I can still move it around. And this is where I have the added flexibility of actually having it as a cutaway rather than trimming the clip and trying to fit it in line. If I need to make it longer, I can tap it and hit speed and then actually slow it down and that'll make it longer. So we have that ability to come in there and adjust the speed of that as well. So again, this is gonna add some great visual variety uh, by adding additional graphic elements as cutaways to your interview. So if I wanted to then take the next one clip and trim that down so I have the photo um, of Ellis Island there, again tap the ellipses and then drop that in as a cutaway. And then move on to the next part when I wanted to talk about something else. Grab the next picture, trim it down on both sides so I have just that picture and drop it in. Okay, and you could see how I could use this same uh, technique if I wanted to kind of look through this clip and find like a reaction shot. No, she we didn't she didn't really shoot any reaction shots, but you know I could take a, a section of that if you had some reaction shots or something like that and drop those in as cutaways as well. And again, so we'll see the person reacting as the other person is still talking. So this ability to do cutaways is going to be really great to add additional visual elements to your interview. Um, again, for using still uh, cutaways, you're going to want to put those into their own timeline, export them out as a video file that then you can then use in your movie as well. And don't forget to use the precision editor by tapping on the uh, transition there and then use the arrows to really get that those cuts exactly where you want them uh, so that they flow smoothly. Hopefully that helps you to put together your interview and documentary project. If you have any questions of course email them or post them in uh, the Edmodo so that we can I can get those back to you. Uh, enjoy your break and enjoy working on your project and I'll see you next time in class. Good night.